Hey, what's up guys? It's Hack Switch coming at you with another fishing video. And for this one, I'm just going to talk about deserted islands. Now, what you can get off a deserted island can vary a lot. Uh, sometimes you get nothing, sometimes you get a lot of mackerels. Then other times you'll catch literally every rare fish in the game, I guess. Is that how it works? I don't know. But as you can see, uh, this deserted island run was absolutely insane. There was like, I think the first fish I caught, which, you know, always catches my attention is a Dorado, which sells for 15,000. Then I caught a sturgeon, which is another fish that I had never caught before. And then I caught another one. And then I went to the beach and then I caught a coelacanth. And the rest is pretty much just history, but I'm not gonna front like I just, you know, pulled up to this island caught all these fish you know it was easy you know i didn't clear any inventory space no i caught so many sea bass so many mackerel so many salmon but what i did is i'd swap their values out for higher value fish and this does take patience and it is a grind um but believe me it is worth it and you know for somebody who enjoys catching fish in this game it's not too bad now if you're planning on going out and using this strategy i'd highly recommend you have what you need i'd bring enough tree branches to at least build three fishing rods and then a good thing about these deserted island runs is usually the islands will have rocks where you can get iron from so then you can craft stronger fishing rods and you know just go crazy again please take into account that this game is random it's rng you're not guaranteed a great island and if you're there for over an hour and you're not finding any rare fish I'd hit the rocks, get the resources, maybe dig up some fruit trees, and get out of there. But if you do seem to find rare fish in the first 15 minutes or 20 of being there, I would definitely stay on that island and try to farm it as much as possible. Uh, do not settle for the mackerel or the uh, sea bass. You probably are going to get a lot of that, but just please keep catching fish. Swap them out for the better fish that you will find. Also, as you get more experience with the fishing in this game, you'll start to notice patterns in shadows. I can pretty much spot a mackerel on the beach because the size of the shadow is like in between medium and small, but it's not quite medium and it's not quite small enough to be, I'd say, a seahorse or something. This will just be handy if you want to cut down the grind factor of catching lots and lots of fish because you'll have better odds. For the bigger shadows, it's a little harder to tell because a lot of the times it is a sea bass, but there are those times where it's not and it'll be a red snapper. And a way to avoid that would just be to catch him. Before I was about to catch the coelacanth, I actually was about to walk away from it because I thought it was a sea bass. So again, it is super important to just catch everything. If you're going after a coelacanth, make sure that it is raining because if it's not raining, you have literally no chance of catching one as they do only spawn in the rain so i'm always curious what are your guys strategies what do you think works um please share in the comments below and like the video if it helped out also let me know if you guys want to see more videos of me just catching fish or me talking about catching fish it all helps to keep uh, content going and uh, with that have a good one and stay safe peace